Tale of Death. Let's begin. Where am I? That is a complicated question. Who are you? Again, that's a complicated question. What are you saying? Just tell me who you are and where I am I? And where am I? <laughs> sure thing, kid. You're dead. What? What? I... I can't be dead. I'm young and healthy. I... I've got so much more that I need to do with my life. Sorry, kid. It's the truth. You came knocking on my door and I opened it. I knocked on your door? Wait! Does that mean you're... Knocking on death's door. Yep. I'm the guy. So, I really am dead. Yeah, it's a tough break, kid. But hey, at least you went out a hero. I... I did? Yeah, kid. You did. You're pretty freshly dead, so it might take a while to remember. But I don't want to be dead. You and everything else that ever lived, kid. But... I mean, your death. Aren't you supposed to, like, let me play a game for a chance to stay alive? The guy's spy kids confirmed. Yeah, I stopped that policy once people started playing chess. Stopped playing chess and started playing Black Ops 2. Anyways, kid. Your death earned you a nice reincarnation. Are you sure you want to risk it? What happens if we say no? No. Good choice, kid. Now just close your eyes and wait. Okay, it just ends the game. <coughs> Fair enough. Blow the door of Bazooka. Break the door with an axe. Oh my god. Wow. That was a nice interaction, <laughs> Eric. Oh, wow. Yes, I want to risk it. Okay, kid. Here's what you're going to have to do. I'll do anything. Don't be so sure about that. Your challenge is going to be simple. You just have to walk out of the underworld, just like in the myths. That doesn't sound too hard. Oh, it would be, if we're not for the fact that the path out of the underworld is filled with souls that will try to drag you back down into it. So I just have to avoid some souls and escape. Pretty much, kid. Although it might be a little harder than you expect. I'm ready for the challenge. Don't get ahead of yourself. I'll show you the ropes first. Okay, sure. Alright, let's head there now. Alright, kid, time for your first lesson. Huh, where are we? This is basically the front door to the path out of the underworld. Okay, so what do I need to know? I need you to talk to the stairs. That's it. Maybe I don't need you to show me the ropes. Oh yeah, go ahead and try to walk. Huh? Yeah, the underworld is a place of concepts, kid. Just trying to move your legs won't work. The Orpheus, what the hell? Then how do I walk? All right, you ever use a comu computer keyboard? Yeah, I have. All right, imagine you're pressing the arrow keys. You should find yourself moving in no time. All right, let me give it a try. Hey. All right, kid, your next lesson is real simple. Grab that key in the corner and open the door in front of you. Gee, thanks. Look, I know it sounds simple, but things down here are all conceptual. So long as you have the key, the door will just vanish as you walk through it. Okay, okay. Let me try it. Yeah, very simple, very to the point. I like it. Alright, kid. This is your final lesson. But what are these things? Souls that never made it out of the underworld. Are they gonna try and hurt me? Nah, they don't have that in them. This is more like crabs in a bucket. They want to get out so bad, they end up dragging others back to the start. So I just need to avoid them. Pretty much, kid. Okay, let's give it a shot. Oh, whoops. First try, all right. So contextual doors here. Your ears begin to ring as you hear the screeching of tires. Your breath grows heavy as you feel your chest collapsing. Oh, Jesus. We're remembering our death. 
Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's! <laughs> I already played through this. There's only one proper route, so I'm just gonna take that right now. Because all the others just lead to more keys and doors and keys and doors. It's actually kind of clever. Because you, you don't soft lock yourself, it just it makes it take take longer. Your mind races as the image of a truck comes crashing towards you. Look at him go! <laughs> That's the soul that died of cocaine. Yeah, so I think I get isekai'd. <laughs> your eyes start to water as you see a red cross burned into your vision. Oh Jesus, that was coming right for me. Holy crap. Your footfalls feel lighter as you feel your body begin to rise. Oh, whoop. I'm gonna die! Oh no, it's gonna get me! Whew. Now, is it gonna be safer for me to go? Yeah, this is the way to go. Where's the exit, though? Oh, no. I don't know where the exit is. Of course, you have reasonable speeds. Where'd it go? Watch, the second I go up there, it's gonna show up. Where the heck is it? Oh, it's just taking forever, okay. Alright, that's fair. That's fair. Let's go. We can do this. We can totally do this. Oh, there's the exit. Okay. So it doesn't matter. You begin to feel disoriented as the memory of your of twisting hallways and shouting voices grows more distant. It vanished. fake doors except for one. Yep. Dang it. Walking towards death. Roxy. It's to come right back to your original world in time. Oh my god. Oh, there's the exit. Nice. You look around frantically as you find yourself in an unfamiliar space. Oh boy. Oh, that was a little scary, not gonna lie. There's a key. Is this worse or better than a... Oh, there it is. Nice. Go, 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 go. Sweet. The air around you grows cold as you're surrounded by darkness. set pattern or anything? I can't tell. Oh no, no, no. Oh, phew. Okay. Ooh. They do have a set pattern. It's just kind of hard to tell some of them. Okay. Okay, so he just goes around in a little circle there and then... Okay. It's a safe space. This is a safe space. Go! Okay, there was the key. God dang it. Okay, here's one thing I noticed when I was playing earlier. 
But you can step back to the beginning. You keep any items you picked up. Shortcut. Memory of a little girl crossing the street comes to you. You feel yourself starting to leap forward. Oh, jeez. It's after me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why? Why? Oh, no. So we, we died saving a little girl. So we did die at Die Hero's death, so that's good at least. Oh, it's, it's getting closer to me. I don't like that. I'm not going to do this. It's, it's getting too close. It's... Oh, my God. It's... Ugh, it's getting too close too fast. I don't like this one at all. Oh, no. She just lets the con approaches Eric. Why? <laughs> yeah, you should be like pixel perfect, otherwise, it catches up to you too fast. I feel like it's gonna get me. Oh shit, I fucked up a little. Screwed up a little. Screwed up a little. No curse words here. No curse words here. Nope, nope, nope. Professional environment only. Oh, I'm barely gonna make this. There we go. Whew! You can hear the chirping of birds as if you were near to a park. Dang it. Lexicon prevails all the time. Oh my god. Oh, come on! I... Uh, oh, it runs over the key. I was like, okay, the key's the safe space. It is not. It's good to know. Alright, nice. Is... Is it over? Yeah, kid, it's over. I'm alive again. Well, again is a weird way to put it, but yeah, you're alive. What do you mean? I was dead, right? Now I'm alive. Well, kid, like I said, you've given yourself a pretty nice reincarnation, so we actually are a minute or two before the accident. We've time traveled? Sure, let's call it that. So, do I get to just go about the rest of my life now? Assuming you don't go off and be a hero again, sure. The girl. Yeah, the girl. She's gonna cross the street still. Yeah, she is. And she's gonna get hit by that truck. Yeah, she will. And she's gonna die. It's very likely. And I could save her. I did save her, didn't I? That's how I died. You went out like a real hero, kid. Ethical dilemma! <laughs> she's not my kid, fucker. <laughs> Why do I keep cursing? I'm trying not to curse, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I know, kid, it's unfair. They said lots of people die every day. That said, lots of people die every day. But she's a kid. Yeah, and you have your entire life ahead of you. You have a big you have a big date tonight, remember? If I go and save her again, can you tell me, does she grow up and have a happy life? Couldn't tell you, kid. <laughs> Can't or won't. I'm death, not a magic eight ball. Well, kid, I'd say you got about a minute till she reaches the crosswalk. Are you saying I should go save her? Nope telling you that if you don't want to see it, you probably shouldn't start walking away now. Alright, kid. I've got an appointment to get to. I'll see you when I see you. Oh, that's it. Okay. It would have been nice if we were given the choice, and then have like an ending depending on which choice we make, but I, I've always been a fan of puzzle games like that, and ethical quandaries like that, you know? Make us walk into one final D, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's what you gotta do. You gotta go grab a guy and throw him into traffic instead. <laughs> That's another thing. Since we're put so back in time, couldn't we just, like, stop her from crossing? That's another little quandary there, too. But I actually, I actually kind of like that. I like that quite a bit. It's a very... I like the art aesthetic, too. It's very, um, like, ASCII, you know? I like that. <laughs> 